with artist Jane McKenzie at the Parallel Art Show opening, talking about her piece called Needlepoint Abstractions. Jane, tell me a little bit about the concept of this piece or how it emerged for you. Uh, it emerged by collecting, so I spend a lot of time in thrift stores and I just collect whatever I feel drawn to. Um, and needlepoint kits are, there's a lot of them, people don't do them anymore. And so instead of just completing the kit, what I like to do is take a portion of the needlepoint pattern, which is usually something like kittens or matadors or something, and change the colors and turn it into an abstraction. And it allows me to kind of um, not really think too hard about what I'm doing, but think about work with color and stay engaged with my creative process, but not create a huge piece. So these all, these all are obviously displayed as a single piece together. What kind of consideration do you put into it when you find a piece, you know, of, of kittens, uh, per se? Uh, in terms of the composition, do you, do you look around a specific piece and think, I want to cut this piece out and I want to do needlepoint on this piece? Yeah, I basically cut like a window out of cardboard with a, like a little, as if you would do a landscape. And I hover around. And some of them are, some of the needlepoint patterns are, traditionally they're super expensive and they're super beautiful. So sometimes I'll take a long time before actually choosing an area and then, because then I have to cut it. So, so it's an interesting, it's almost a collaboration with whoever else designed these other pieces. It's, yeah, it's a really interesting collaboration. Do these pieces uh, in, in, in this particular uh, work, do they have a relationship with one another beyond the process? <laughs> Uh, not, no, it's really just the process of sitting down. I find it very meditative, so it's a way of releasing things at the end of the day for me too, because it, it is not something I have to engage with all the time when you're making a more considered piece, I guess. Um, and it's a sideline to some more complicated emotional pieces that I might make, but they're, they're all just playing with color. That's, so that's the only relationship, really, yeah. I notice you've made some decisions where to continue on with the pattern and where not to continue on with the pattern. Um, as in, we've got some spaces that are not needlepoint there. How do, is there anything specific that goes through your mind when you're doing that? Well, I want people to see that it, like this one in particular, you can tell that it was a pattern and those are the colors you're supposed to use. It's just a reference to what it was originally because if there's no existing needlepoint, it's not as evident that they're from a kit. Mm -hmm. So it's allusion to the fact that they're found. Mm -hmm. I guess, or it, yeah, a connection to that. You, you have worked and found work in the past and I guess this is very similar to that. Yes, exactly, and you probably know some of those pieces. I, yeah, I sure do. Yep, from the previous <laughs> show. So this is a much sort of like a little microcosm of some of the bigger ideas, yeah. Jane, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Best of luck in the show. Thank you. Thank you very much.